was the first question? Rick, you are seven days away from the biggest match of your career. What does a win mean to you? A win means everything. If we take a look back, all the NXT greats, hundreds of them, maybe 20 to 25 of them able to hold that NXT title. Less than that, maybe five to six able to hold that thing twice. I want to be part of that group. I've had that title once, and I want it back. Bad. Putting all the history to the side. NXT's reaching new heights. I got to be in the lead of that. It can't be Ethan Page. It has to be me. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that happens next week. Trick, do you think CM Punk will play a factor in this match as special guest referee? <laughs> Look, man, I already talked to Punk. We good. I'm going to focus on Ethan Page, and you know I don't like Buddy. But I got to respect the fact he always finds a way to get the job done. So I got to do what I got to do. Lean back on what I learned from Pete Dunne. I got to be confident. I got to... I got to control my emotions. I got to beat Trick Williams. And if I do all those things, I guarantee, best believe, you all will have a new NXT champion next week at the All-State Arena. I promise you that. Thank you for your time. Thanks so much, Trick. Good luck. And thanks to all of you, the members of the media, for joining us here tonight. You're now going to head over to the arena for the final portion of the press conference that'll feature the NXT Women's Champion, Roxanne Perez and Julia. Thanks so much and have a good evening. Well, Booker, the time is now. There is the prodigy, the NXT Women's Champion, who calls herself the best woman in the world. She will have an opportunity to prove that next week against Julia. As these two are getting ready for the final part of our press conference, it takes place live right here on NXT.